India's telecom sector needs immediate attention and the reasons are quite obvious. From 12 major telecom players, we are down to just three and perhaps heading towards a duopoly. In the words of Bharti Airtel Chairman Sunil Mittal, that situation will be very tragic as a big country like India deserves at least three private sector telecom players. But the reality is somewhat precarious and analysts also believe that a duopolistic structure in the telecom industry is inevitable if the situation doesn't improve. The third player Vodafone Ideas fate tangles by a thread after the Supreme Court rejected its plea for a recalculation of ITS spectrum dues. The Apex Court's decision is being seen as a body blow to the troubled Vodafone idea. Edelweiss in its report wondered if a telco duopoly is on the cards in the absence of Vodafone idea's capital raising and tariff hike while City observed that Vodafone Idea's situation remains challenging. Overall, the situation is so grim that Deutsche Bank in its research note recommended that the government should convert Vodafone Idea's debt into equity to avoid a duopoly in the telecom sector. Business standard Suraji Dasgupta says Vodafone Idea may not survive without relief from the government. Let's take a look at some of the long-term measures the government can take to boost the health of the stressed industry. If the government gives them, as I told earlier, uh, a moratorium on the uh, spectrum payments, which is around about 8,000 crores. Plus, uh, I mean, the government has been looking at the license fee and also the uh, SUC, the spectrum user charges, which each telecom operator pays, so it's around about 13% of their revenues and it's pretty large amount of money and the government has been looking at reducing this. So if the government actually goes and reduces this uh, by say half, this will basically mean an impact on say a Vodafone's uh, bottom line of cash flowing in around about 3,000 crores, which is quite a lot of money. So therefore, I think if the government stops thinking that the, uh, you know, the telecom operators are here for maximization of revenue, I think it is would not be very difficult for, uh, I mean, uh, for Vodafone uh, Idea Limited to sort of uh, survive and continue. And also, if these things happen and the government does these reforms, then I don't think there is also going to be a problem of somebody putting in, a strategic investors putting in 25,000 crores, which they were planning to raise. Because at the moment, they are waiting and uh, basically trying to gauge whether the government will give a moratorium, whether the government will give these incentives or not. So if that happens, I think it is a company which can easily be saved. As matters stand today, much hinges on whether or not the government grants the telecom firm yet another moratorium on the payment of its spectrum for a year by financial year 23 and the firm's ability to raise an additional 25,000 crore rupees from investors. If these do not happen, it is in serious trouble and risk folding up operations in the country. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.